I always bring up Japan because the Japanese do everything to very rigorous standards. For people who have been there, they obviously know the cleanliness, the food, but it also applies to their medicine and technology. Like they're, they have some of the best surgeons in the world when it comes to innovative techniques. And no other than Professor Yamanaka, who won the Nobel Prize for his discovery on how to reprogram stem cells, is obviously from Japan too. So they basically have a culture of innovation and wanting to always improve themselves. And they've created a regulatory framework for regenerative medicine that's 10 years old now. And 10 years old. And it's been the, around for a long time. And the US and Canada still don't have a regenerative medicine framework. So instead of creating a framework and regulating these things, they just said, we're just going to ban them. Mm. And to me, that makes no sense. And I think I think this is much more political than it is based in science. And yes, j you can use the anecdote of J uh, Japan, but there's also so much clinical data out there now. Plus, you have to look at the risk versus benefit of any intervention, or what we call in medicine, number needed to treat versus number needed to harm, right?